Transportation shapes places. As metropolitan regions started to expand, their boundaries began to blur and mega-regions have formed. Our research center, Cooperative Mobility for Competitive Mega-Regions, or CM2, aims to advance research, education, and technology transfer initiatives that improve the mobility of people and goods in urban and rural communities of mega-regions. Well, we uh, look at the transportation, transportation-related issues in mega-regions. Mega-regions are defined as multiple metropolitan areas and the, they are integrated rural communities. In particular, we are interested in issues across uh, multiple jurisdictions. Our cutting-edge research has ignited dialogues and promoted solutions to fuel prosperity and innovation in the global economy. Each year, CM2 publishes on average over 50 papers, presentations, and reports to advance the conversation about the transportation needs in some of the nation's most populous centers. My focus is very much on the legal side of mega-regions, how should they be constituted, what are all the legal parameters that support them, the statutory components, um, potentially looking at case law, is there a federal role, should it be a state role, should it be a local role, how that comes to play. And so I've been able to hire as I said, multidisciplinary students. They're all graduated. Um, I'm about to hire my next little batch of students, um, and they've all gone on to, to great careers. Of course, since we intend to have a big impact, we have a strong team of partners. Our consortium partners include the University of Texas at Austin, Louisiana State University, Texas Southern University, and the University of Pennsylvania. CM2 hosts lectures, forums, exhibitions, and other events to engage stakeholders in our research. Now I'm working on like the e-scooter trips related to public transit. We want to know, because some companies mentioned that the e-scooter could be a possible solution for the first and last mile issues of public transit. And we also have this whole new challenge coming up with all of these new disruptive technologies that are coming into play. Um, the e-scooter issue alone for many cities, one day we didn't have these scooters and the next day we didn't, but thinking about our mobility within a mega region and then between the mega regions as well. And then obviously connected and automated vehicles and what that is going to mean for future mobility. We employ dozens of students who go on to work at leading organizations in the field like the Federal Highway Administration, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, JetBlue and Sasaki. Our center uh, encourages uh, multidisciplinary uh, research, education, and application. So we have uh, people coming from different fields, not just uh, transportation, uh, from planning, from architecture, from uh, engineering, of course, uh, from uh, landscape architecture, and design, and from public policy, and from uh, law. We're proud of the work our researchers and students do. Please follow us on social media to stay plugged in with what we're doing.